region of our planet that no human being has ever visited. It's 2,000 miles beneath our feet, the Earth's molten core. Here, a vast ocean of liquid iron generates an invisible force, the Earth's magnetic field. But recently, scientists have detected a dramatic change in the Earth's magnetic field. The core's ability to generate the field seems to be faltering. Today, something very strange is going on with the Earth's magnetic field. Over the last 150 years, the magnetic North Pole has casually wandered 685 miles across northern Canada. But right now, it's racing 25 miles a year to the northwest. This could be a sign that we're about to experience something humans have never witnessed before, a magnetic polar flip. Earth's magnetic poles could be ready to flip. Uh-huh. Apparently, the Earth's poles may be trying to flip she said, what? She said, yeah. I said, no. I've heard there's a chance the magnetic poles will reverse. It is time now for one of today's discoveries. Earth's magnetic field could flip within a human lifetime. So say researchers studying the last time it happened 780,000 years ago. Turns out 780,000 years is over double the time that Earth usually takes between flips. Just when you thought there could not be more change going on in the world, Magnetic North is moving. Aviators know it has always moved, but not like this. It's just skipping along. It's on the move about 40 miles a year now along the polar cap toward Russia. It's a natural, unstoppable occurrence, but because of it, some airport runways calibrated by compass are now three or four degrees off. At Tampa International in Florida, they're going to repaint the numbers on the runway and redesignate them because the dead center top of the world magnetic north on the compass is on the move in a big way hard as it may be to believe the magnetic pole is moving enough so that every five years its position has to be updated How about we're, we're seeing a shift at the pole yes well the, the north pole uh, the magnetic north pole i should say which is different of course from the true north uh, is constantly in motion and so much so, it's actually been speeding up lately. We take it as a fixed position, a navigational certainty, and Australian explorers have been nearer to it than anybody. But the magnetic South Pole actually remains unseen, unplotted, and it's moving all the time. In 2000, Dr. Charlie Burton found the magnetic South Pole. Beneath the ship he was on, but it had been a chase. To begin with, it was moving much faster than the ship, and then by chance on the final day of the measurements, uh, it virtually stopped still for about 24 hours. Not only is it moving unpredictably, it could end up just about anywhere. It's already more than 1,100 kilometers northeast since Mawson's time. If it continues going in the same direction at the same speed as it is now. The magnetic poles reverse. Now all of this might sound a little confusing, but let's get one thing straight. NASA knows a magnetic field flip happens about every two to 300,000 years. The last shift was over 700,000 years ago, leaving some to say we're due. Several times per million years, Earth's magnetic pole does a full flip. At first, it becomes disorganized with new poles popping up in odd places like the equator. We're already seeing a glimpse of this in an area called the South Atlantic Anomaly. Turns out, the direction of a portion of the magnetic field deep beneath this area has already flipped. Since experts started measuring the anomaly a few decades ago, it has grown in size and now covers a fifth of Earth's surface, with no signs of shrinking anytime soon. This is so extreme that it could be a sign we're on the brink of a polar flip, 
or we may already be in the midst of one. Many scientists now believe that the South Atlantic anomaly is the start of a global magnetic field reversal. The Earth's magnetic field has reversed over the millennia, and uh, as it does, it leaves a signature in the rocks as the continental plates drift apart. Scientists pulled lava from the mid-Atlantic ridge where two tectonic plates meet. The ridge is spreading, giving easy access to very old, cooled lava flows. Minerals embedded in the lava are sensitive to Earth's magnetic field as the lava cools. By analyzing thousands of lava samples, geophysicists discovered that they found it took less than 100 years for the North and South Poles to flip. Experts had thought that a reversal would take a millennia. Some say the Earth is long overdue for a change. I'd say it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. We know from the geological record that the Earth's magnetic field reverses. But what's remarkable about the last 10, 20 years is how much the position of the Earth's magnetic pole is changing. And the Earth's magnetic pole turns out to be shooting towards Russia at an alarming rate. It happened before. It will happen again. And it's bound to happen sooner or later. It's happened repetitively over the millennia. And uh, sooner or later it will happen again, in fact. All this has happened before. And it will all happen.